sending an email an act is very easy. Just look up the contact that you want to send the email to, locate their email field in the database, and just click on it. It immediately starts an email that you can use to send. Let's just call this a test. If you want to record the email in history in ACT, you might click on the Add-ons tab and be sure that the ACT history is set to the preferred criteria. This says that the email and subject will be recorded, so I'm just going to click Send. When I click the History tab, I should be able to see the email that was just sent. You can send the email straight from Outlook just by starting a new email and if you know the person's email address, enter it. We'll call this test 2. And even though I didn't start it from e ACT, I still want to record it and click Send. When I return to ACT and I wait for a few seconds, sure enough, there's the email that was sent straight from Outlook. If you typically send an email with the same text to a lot of people, you can create templates for your emails the same way you create templates for your word merges. I've created one. Instead of using the other from template, I'm going to send write email message from template. It was this a thank you email message. It'll automatically merge the current contact into your Outlook email. Then I just have to fill in the subject line, make any changes I wish to to the email, and then verify that your history is being created and click Send. You'll notice I may have to press F5 to refresh my history, but there's my email, my templated email that also went out displayed in history. Keeping your calendar in ACT is important from a sales perspective. Outlook is only a time management tool that displays your commitments but does not keep your focus on keeping a history of your relationships that you've scheduled. By keeping your calendar in ACT, as you clear the activities that you've done, then you're creating a history of your interactions with your clients and prospects. By syncing your calendar to Outlook, others in the company can see what time is blocked on your calendar. Let's look at how to do that. We'll click Tools, Preferences. On the Email and Outlook Sync tab, notice here is your Outlook Sync calendar. I want to enable the calendar sync with Outlook. I can look at the advanced preferences and notice the types of activities that we'll be sending over. I want to send everything over and click OK and OK. It'll start the synchronization as soon as you've done it. You can also set up automatic synchronization if you like so that things are done on a regular basis. Once the calendar synchronization is finished, you can go to your calendar and Outlook and notice the same activities scheduled for today that were also scheduled before. In addition to tracking your calendar and Outlook, you may also want to keep contacts in Outlook. I have no contacts in my Outlook address book. Let's go back to ACT. And I'm once again going back to Tools, Preferences, Email and Outlook Sync tab, Outlook Synchronization Preferences. In addition to the calendar, I can also synchronize my contacts. I may not want to synchronize the whole database. Perhaps all I'll sync are my customers. However, I can define a sync set based on fields so that I know which ones. Notice the number we've been working with, 67, is what will be synced to my Outlook address book. 
Generally speaking, I only want to sync one way, though I could sync two ways, so that as I add contacts to my Outlook address book, they'll also come back to ACT. However, in most organizations, we like to keep it, I like to keep the personal contacts in my Outlook out of my ACT address book. Let's click OK. Once again, it's going to synchronize now. And I'll click OK to complete the preferences change. Once the synchronizing contacts has completed, it will display a box in the lower portion of the status bar. Once again, I can go back to Outlook and I can see, sure enough, the 67 contacts in my Outlook address book that match the 67 customers that I had in my Act address book.